All right, just a fair warning. I'm going to do something different with this review. I'm going to review the movie, talk about my gripes about the world, and then critic consensus. Let's get it started. Chase Lee Hockey here with the Blue Food Ton Review and Ordinary Angels. What's about pre civil premise? We have a father whose five year old really needs a liver transplant, but bills are piling up because of his wife passing away and the daughter's medical bills as well. However, there's a hairdresser in town that's thinking, I need to help this girl. I, something is connecting me to this, while at the same time trying to connect with her son, dealing with alcoholism and snowstorms, weathers, tornadoes, and everything that occurred in Louisville, Kentucky, and I believe in 1993. So, do you like this film? I really did. Every time I saw this trailer, I won't lie, I always said it shed a tear because for me, kids health issues, cancer, that's what gets me crying, that's what gets me really emotional because stuff that happened with my past. Uh with my past lives, you know, love of the no, that that does that shit doesn't do nothing for me. But this one does. So even going into it, I knew I was gonna have my heartstrings tug because Hillary Swank was in it and she also does a fantastic job with what she's supposed to do. Yeah, I think before this she did the hunt, which is a really good movie actually. But this one really fits the bill with being a Christian movie but not pushing the message of like believing in God 2700% about community, who you could believe in, and just dilemmas in your own personal life. So like I said, when talking about the positives, I do think Hillary Swank and uh, Alan Rickson, if I'm saying his last name right, I'm so sorry if I'm not, he's in Fast X as well as the Reacher series. Very big dude. He is Reacher through and throughout, but they do a fantastic job in the roles. The kid actors also do a really good job you see emotion on their face. You see dread on their face. You see them questioning life. And also, I could tell there's some ab lib, especially there's a scene where they're going to look at stars. And it's very, very cute. There's also really good dialogue in this movie about death and kids and not knowing what to do in that situation because it's so awkward, especially with the mother dying and now the daughter almost having, I believe, the same disease. It's just like a one-two gut punch, especially for the older daughter. Like, I, she's going to lose a mother and a sister in, like, a year span. It's just like, holy moly, macaroni and cheese. That's just not good whatsoever. And like I said, the whole message of the movie about community, helping, you know, having your own personal demons in your past and what you could do to amend. And what is amending your past? Is it actually helping this family, trying to make yourself feel better, even though it's not really fixating the issue that's at hand and it really digs deep into that as well uh when we talk about some of the negatives i guess you could say i do think some scenes are oh a little bit over long are not necessary also it does make me wonder though like did she really have an alcohol problem did she really have a son that she was trying to connect to because when you watch the trailers it truly does feel like it is straight up the girl story and hillary swank trying to help and none of the trailers really dug into her backstory about the alcohol and her son. So I wasn't expecting that side of the story, which is fine and all. And I know we want to like have like two sides of the coin about why she's doing it and is there, you know, dark secrets. But I feel like we should have focused a little bit more on that and maybe explain on how some of this stuff occurred, especially getting rid of a old like four hundred K thousand dollar health insurance bill. Like, they just kind of just happened, and you're like, oh, so they're, like, what did the hospital do? Or her talking to the banks get a plane. Like, what, who are these people? And I really would like to see these people, like, at least an interview at the end of the movie. Yes, at the very end of the movie, you do see the helicopter scene leaving the church parking lot, and I think that's really good to show. Of course, you know, that's more of a heli-vac, and you can actually see, like, night versus day, and, but they all had to do uh, shoveling the snow. But like I said, I really wish... This movie would have some interviews with the real life people, and I do think that what that that would make this movie just a little bit more connecting about what actually occurred in the past. But overall, Ordinary Angels to me, it's a movie that hit me the right way. If you're worried that it's a very preachy Christian movie, you don't need to worry about that. Of course, there are themes to it. I think the best one I can connect this to is the Thomas, not uh, the Great Kinnear one about the girl falling from the tree and seeing God and him just like questioning a lot of things. You could say that's kind of in the same vein, but don't expect anything like, 
you know, they're in the church 24-7 because that is not this film. So Ordinary Angels will receive a 4 out of 5 blue futons, which equals at 80%. All right, now talking about the criticism of the world we are today, some of the themes in the movie, as well as just Reddit. So let's talk about Reddit real quick. All right, Reddit is a cesspool. It truly is. A, not all of Reddit, right? But when you go to the right, not the right areas, it is a true cesspool. And I think the Regal movie mystery is a cesspool. Why do I say that? Yes, you might get some data about what the movie is, but some people are just like, oh, when they saw it was Ordinary Angels, people groaned and walked out of the theater. Okay, if you're groaning about a true story about a girl might die because she needs a liver transplant, either A, I understand if something happened to you in the past where a child died or something occurred and didn't go right, like an organ transplant, Okay, I understand that you don't want to relive that trauma. Or you don't know what the fuck trauma is. Like I said in my early reaction, is I feel like a lot of these people, their trauma is like not getting the right Starbucks order, someone calling them the wrong pronouns, being, you know, a flight delay. That is their trauma in life. And that just really sickens me because they're tr- like, when I see the St. Jude's commercial, I cry. I truly do. Uh, that is trauma. That is real life thing. And just like when I watch Society of the Snow and people are complaining, oh my God, two hours and 20 minutes. That is just way too long of a movie. They're out there for 72 days. This girl has probably been in pain because of a liver transplant for um for one plus years and she's five years old. Okay. If you can't live a two hour movie just seen about a good heartfelt movie about community and trying to make this girl survive, what is wrong with you? That's why I truly want to say yes. It might be not your cup of tea. Sure. But it's a $5 movie. You kind of knew what it was going to be with it being a PG rating. And no other PG movies coming out except One Life, Kung Fu Panda, and this. So it's like, come on now. And I think that's what I also get upset about is people don't try new things. Like They're like, oh my god, Ordinary Angels is a Christian movie. I'm out. Really? That's how close-minded you are. Even though, like I said, I lean right for sure. I'm anti like socialist whatsoever, but I will listen to that side and see how crazy they are. Like Hassan, I'll listen to him, but he's a fucking idiot. But just like other things like that, where I just feel like, man, these people in the world don't really know trauma. Are they really? They just don't know. They they've had it so well. Like if World War Three did happen, I, I maybe it should. So some of these weak people could leave. All right, maybe not. All right. So themes in this movie that like really make me think about the world today. All right. I kind of said it as well. Healthcare. Now you're going to be like, oh my God, healthcare shouldn't be this expensive. Yes and no. The problem is, you know, hospitals are about profit. Guilty. That's pretty fucked up. It shouldn't be like that. But people that say healthcare should be free, I disagree because as a person who works with the government and you kind of see the memes where people are like, oh my God, military grade in the outside and the military grade people are like, no, not military grade, military. No, 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 no. It's kind of the same way. So if you want government run health care, they choose your doctors. They choose what medicine you can take. And they will be like kind of in Canada, like, oh, you want to kill yourself? Here you go. Or in England, where I'm pretty sure they're trying to save a baby and you, the UK refused or said you that you cannot send that baby to the US to try to save the baby's life. You cannot. Denied. What the fuck? That is free health care for you. And when I lived in Portugal, a kid broke its arm, and they said it was the shittiest health care ever. That, why do you think a lot of people from out of country come to the United States? Yes, it might be more expensive, but it's some of the best health care on the earth. Uh, with that, why are we giving illegal aliens free health care? That's what bothers me. California. Little story about California is I bought stocks when I lived there in 2020. I never was a resident. They were hounding me for $88. They thought I won the fucking lottery. They they wanted $88 for my stocks. I actually lost $97 in stocks, but they're like, we need to prove that you lost so you don't have to owe the $88. California is bleeding so much money. Just they don't care about American citizens. San Francisco. Electing a non-citizen from Hong Kong to be in charge of voting. California doesn't care about Americans. New York doesn't care about Americans. Illinois doesn't care about Americans. 
you kind of get the drift of these states because they only care about the people coming in. And you have these politicians now saying illegals are the new Americans. Are you fucking serious? What about the people that have been here forever that have put money into this system? They should be the ones on the front of the line. And I, I used to be in healthcare. My mom is in healthcare, so we've seen it. So don't be like, oh, you're just fucking making shit up. I'm not making stuff up whatsoever. This is all stuff I've seen and what family members have seen. It's just absolutely disgusting. And like I said with this movie about trauma, is yes, I can understand because like I said, my sister passed away uh, from cancer as well uh, in 2013. So it's been almost 10 years, and that's kind of scary to me because I still remember the day it happened, me sitting in the hospital room. It, it's just something that like, gets stuck in your mind. And like I said in other videos, is where I felt so guilty falling asleep because when they pull the plug, it takes like six hours for the last heartbeat to happen. And that night, I was actually um, watching that 70s show, and there's that scene where Donna and um, Eric were playing basketball and they're wrestling with the basketball. And, they were, and I laughed. And I was like, why am I laughing right now? Like, my sister just passed away like three hours ago and I'm laughing. Like, there's just shit like that where you're just like, damn. And people don't realize what people have gone through. And that's what I think this movie does. Like, it, it's it's heart it's it's heartwarming. But I just, I, I had to get that off my chest about just these people that I don't think no struggle. They refuse to know struggle. And they just refuse to, like, open their mind up to other people. And I guess that's the final thing is community. I don't think we have that anymore. Because, you know, in 19... 19- 1993 all you really have is the, they don't have gofundmes back then it's of course you know cash donations and trying to get people to help this girl uh of course now i swear to god people that like vandalize p- shit gets more funds than people that really need it that like have health care price problems and that scares me and also with community like could you find a community now in days to actually go help someone feels like it's just not there anymore it's scary where i see all these videos of like just people pushing people on subways pushing people down stairs just random violence it's just unnecessary like what what's going on in the water and that scares me but let's talk about the critic consensus and audience score now for ordinary angels so we have one review no audience score and the review gave it a negative saying has some of the beats of a lifetime movie uh hillary swing's performance southern acts of big hair all will remind you why she has two oscars it never uh but the stakes are so high that it never feels cheesy so it's weird it's it's rotten but it says it feels like a lifetime movie but it never feels cheesy and hillary swing has a great performance that's kind of weird negative but since it's only one and i don't know the real score we're just gonna stick with my 80 because i can and it's my channel Chase Lack here with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you think it's Blue You Blue Tonys. Thank you for watching a great day. I can watch this take tomorrow, week, now, a month, for a year, from now, every single freaking one of you. And moral of the story open your mind, see things, understand what other people are going through, and I think we will be better as a world. Seriously.